we just had the wrap up of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Edmonton, big event. Um, but I heard my friend's parents say, well, hasn't that still going on? We've been hearing about that for two months. by a couple bills, omnibus bills, in just a minute. And so now I think people are recognizing that if you want to try to get these projects stopped or slow them down, is that the best way to do that is to stand behind, you know, constitutionally protected and treaty rights in Canada. So I think that there's a shift there. Um, but we need to be mindful of whether the shift is coming from a place of just strategy or is it is there reconciliation going on and how does that start to happen? You know, do you go in there and build a campaign, you've already got a whole campaign going, you want sign off, or is the campaign built together? There's been missteps along the way, but I think that if people are working in a good way, you know, and they're honest about what, where they're coming from and why they want to do this and, and their intentions are good, then, then I think that it can get that way. I think that another thing... As environmentalists, we're not, you know, showing up and, and talking about how we can help build a, a greenhouse or like some of the other projects we've heard of, of impacted tar sands communities who are like, well, we want to build, you know, a greenhouse for our community. We have to find ways to support that, not just support their opposition, but to support the things that they do want and resource that. So it's a bit of a process there, but hey. We can do it. <laughs> I've had two thoughts in my head today in this March. One is, oh my god, I have to go do healing walk things. And the other is, this is really nice and I don't feel as alone. So I think the point would be to continue to have gatherings at that level, try to do it in a really good community way uh, and grounded like that, to continue to move those conversations forward so uh, where can we put this together. starting to mobilize. The marchers woke them up. The march from Kakuna to Kanasatage woke them up, I think. Woke up the, there's people in Hudson. When I spoke to them and they said, wow, yes, they want to get involved, they want to support them, they want to uh, greet them when they come through. Oh yeah, it's very, very good. I walked a little bit with them, then I met again uh, with them up in uh, Quebec City, went to the hill and then uh, here in Montreal, and then we'll meet again when we uh, get a lot closer to Ghana Sadaq.